much to do. You gotta wake up soon, cause it's already noon. Ooh. I can't think of a better thing to like play at such an iconic venue in LA. Just great vibes. Um, it was the first show, so I was a little nervous. I didn't want to mess up any parts. But I was so excited because I've been such a fan of Clara and David for so long. It was actually my first time playing for an all-age group in LA. One of the things I really like about the sets is that there's a couple songs in there that, that I really get to stretch out. And... He's super talented. I love his personality. It's a strange guy, but he's... <sighs> no, don't put that in. A couple moments to, to shine and, and do it all guitar players love to do, which is play really loud. And... I'll do everything I have to, won't let anything in my way, yeah. Oh, San Francisco was so much fun. Great crowd, sold out, beautiful venue. That was energy, electricity. I love playing in San Francisco. It's always a great crowd. Um, they're always paying attention, which I really like. And uh, this crowd in particular was a little more rowdier, which I enjoyed. San Francisco is charged with this energy. Like right from the second the host said my name, it was just like explosive. Uh, and that was from start to finish, like their energy doesn't die. So it, we completely feed off of the audience. I don't know if audience members know this, but they have all the power for a live show. There was just this oneness with the audience and with the performers on stage. They were sweating and we were sweating. Music's so interactive, it's so two ways. And so uh, when you have a crowd like that, it just really enhances the experience. It makes you play better, you just feel more inspired. There was just a special feeling from the moment we walked on stage that night. So normally after a night of a show, we're exhausted and want to sleep in and everything, but we woke up early and went to Fisherman's Wharf. We rode the trolley, which is so scenic and beautiful. The trolley ride was really, really fun. It's my first time on a trolley and got to hang off of one. I almost died because um, if the guy didn't tell me, I totally would have hit the other trolley and it would have been really messy. And San Fran was just gorgeous that day. I feel great and my mind is in a good place. So Clara's fascination with my chest hair, I don't understand it, okay? So you can't see it when the shirt is on, but when his shirt is off, which he takes it off a lot, it's literally just in the patch of the v-neck. I don't, maybe it's because her boyfriend doesn't have as much chest hair as I do, so that's why she kind of has a fascination with mine. <laughs> San Diego, great venue, played at UCSD. It's my hometown, so it was, you know, I felt privileged, I felt kind of a vibe going on. San Diego is, was a great show. Um, it's a special place for me because this is where my first show was. It's, it's tough to make the drive down here, but um, I always do because it's, you know, 
people are always really nice and it feels good to be here. I think about the kind kids with their phones. I'm not sure that they could clap along or dance along because it would have ruined their shot. David Choi is a thoughtful, calculated, sweet, simple guy who likes his time with his guitar relaxing. So I guess the band thinks that I spent too much alone time with me and my guitar. It, the fact is, um, I do. That's how I write all my songs. I'm alone. I, no, I'm not depressed. I'm just kidding. No, yeah, the band keeps picking on me for some reason about that. I mean, I feel like everybody should be alone sometimes. You know, that's a good balance. Do I have a balance? Um, probably leans a little more towards being alone, but uh, but I, I I like it. And so we hatched a plan. We walked in nonchalantly, all casual, incognito. We're gonna pick him up. You know, they took a little too long, first off. They didn't realize that uh, I wrestled in high school, so they actually did the wrong grapple move. And so he like, he kind of, I don't know how he did it, he just turned his body into a rock. And somehow, I ended up being carried. I'm not sure how that worked out exactly. I don't even work out. Thursday, we're flying out to Chicago to do a little East Coast run for a while. Off we go in a sprinter van. Someone's gonna get mad at somebody else, probably. You know, gonna have a couple blow ups. We'll, we'll get to know each other a lot better. Um, I heard there will be some Xbox, so I'm gonna get a lot better at Halo. Despite how grueling the schedule may appear, it's gonna be the time of my life. And I'm so stoked, so, so excited beyond belief. Hi, this is Clara C. I'm David Choi. And we're here with Tram from SACE. So Tram, could you tell us about how you got involved in such a great organization like SACE? Thanks, Clara. So I originally started college as a freshman, and I was really lost on what my career path was like. And my um, roommate and I, we decided that you know maybe we want to do something to make like a difference, but we're not sure. And we saw around our school there's like 80% of UCSD are filled with Asians, and we thought like, well, they're Asian, they're a science major, they're an engineers major. What can we do? So we just we kind of Google this and we wanted to start like an organization and um, we came up with SACE, which stands for the Society of Asian Scientists and Engineers, exactly what we wanted. So after that, we got contact with National um, and they got us involved. And um, I was the former president last year and it was an amazing experience for me. Um, it really helped me develop my like, interpersonal skill. Like I wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to you guys without Stella at SACE. So, yeah, I really like the, the family feeling that they gave to me, and I wish that you know, some of the students should hear about it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And you guys are all brainiacs. We're brainiacs that know how to have fun. Nice. <laughs> yeah. nice combination. That's a good yeah. line. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, power to you. That's a great thing. Yeah. So, yeah, we. I just actually came back from their national conference, which happened annually, mm -hmm. and so it was a great way to network with a lot of the recruiters from different companies and um, it's a really great way to also meet a lot of students from all around the country. Um, yeah, I really think SAFE is like a family to me and it's it really helps me feel like I belong to a community. That's great. Yeah. That's a perfect thing.
smart people having fun. Join safe. Yep. <laughs> Join safe. Thank you for sharing us. Thank you for sharing with us about safe. Thank you.